All the media speculation surrounding that hostage situation in Detroit has just... Hello? I don't know. I heard there was a demonstration at the Lim plant. I saw Eliza's coverage of the hostage situation. Isn't she just great? How come some people believe don't get she's me started just a mouthpiece on that for Picus and their interests? An extremely I've seen Yeah, yeah, hang on just a sec. Shit. Jensen? Haas, surprised to see you here. Yeah, well, I guess you're better at looking out for yourself than I am. I don't have time for your self-pity. I need to get into the morgue. That's it? Ah, oh, forget it. I don't know what's going on with that body down there, but my orders come from the brass. No one gets in. First thing you say to me after almost two years is you want something? Should I have given you an order? You've always been very good at following those. God damn. Where do you get off being so self-righteous? You think I like this? Look at me. From SWAT team commander to a crummy desk sergeant in a two-bit precinct. I don't need this from you. I get enough of it at home. So either come up with something better than your usual attitude, or you can just forget it, because you came to me. Okay, look, you're angry, and you've got a right to be. I'm putting you in a bad position, but I have to get inside that morgue. I won't let it get back to you. I'm always in a bad position. I don't see how I can possibly do this. There's so much heat right now, I'm telling you. The moment I open that door, I'm finished. I just got my life back together. This job is all I have. Don't make me do this. Yes, your job is at risk. Yes, you've taken the blame for what happened in the past, but look, I need your help. And it's important. You got my word, whatever happens, I'll take care of you. You didn't lift a finger for me back then. Why should things be different now? You want to talk about the past? Fine. You saw that kid's augments. You know how dangerous he could have been. If he'd gotten close enough, he would have wiped the floor with us. So I made sure he didn't. I took him out. And that's that. We all make mistakes, Wayne. Nobody blames you for it. You have to believe that and forgive yourself or you'll never put it behind you. I know. It's just so hard. There's something I've been waiting two years to tell you. I blame you, Jensen, for everything that happened. Because when the chips were down, you got the order to fire, you refused, I got stuck having to do it, and you just walked out of my life. That's when everything went to shit, when you abandoned me. Wayne, it was a bad situation. You didn't do anything wrong. I know that, damn it. That's what I've been saying. It was yours. But you'll never ever own up to that. You're too thick-headed. Stop wasting my time. Get out of my life! Hey, uh, boss. How badly do you want that neural hub? If you're considering multiple homicides to get it, I suggest you back off and look for a less, uh, conspicuous way in. From outside the building. Jensen, I have a message for you from one of your former colleagues, a Detective Alexander. Jenny, what did she want? She said she could use some help if you could make your way over to Grand River Road. And might I just add, as wonderful as it is to have you back at the office, I am not your personal dating service.
Back again to Detroit, where a handful of people were taken into custody this evening, following well, yet another anti-augmentation demonstration. No, no traffic. Most of the streets are blocked out. These offices are off limits to civilians, sir. Don't go in there. Listen, I can't promise anything. Not right now. The police decided to shut down the local alley. Wish I could afford first-rate stuff like that. These days, you just gotta get Og to stay ahead. This the humanity sand, front. <laughs> what a joke. Did you hear? They want the UN to regulate enhancements. Hey, how are you? Yeah? What do you want? Information. Then go bother the receptionist, Chrome Boy, instead of wasting my goddamn time. Not that kind of information. I want to know about the Seraph Industries case. Ha <laughs> ha. And I want a blowjob and a vintage 05 bar GT, so I guess we both keep on dreaming. Huh? Metalhead? I know you handle the critical evidence linked to the case, and I want to know about it. First off, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And second, even if I did, what makes you think I give a shit about what you want? Now, I strongly suggest you take your high-tech toaster-looking ass out of my way before I handle you. I do hope the UN oh, no. takes a concentrated look at what happened here tonight. Mr. Taggart went on to express a sincere I don't mean to judge, to but I think the people who choose to augment to themselves are rejecting their own humanity. Find a common ground. Should that day ever come to pass, one Keeping up with the latest gear may be expensive, Darrow, but it's worth it. The man whose innovations first propelled augmentation technology to the forefront was also the So far, Mr. Darrow has refused our repeated requests for an interview. This is a live cassette, reporting to you live from Plankton. Hey, how are you? No, no traffic. My ex was Most like of the you, you know. Are I always out. had to buy the latest, greatest techno gadgets on the market. Don't get Restricted me started on Restricted area that beyond this point, sir. Sounds good. Later. Without the weapon, sir. Listen, I can't promise it. Not right now. All the media speculation surrounding that hostage situation. Don't get me started on that liberal crap. Restricted area beyond this. Leave me alone. Who's there? Hit the alarm! Dramatic chrome! Dead! Here's where I can see the chance of the Ooh! Listen, I can't promise it. Not right now. Just get away! Oh, oh, oh. We're getting out of here! Here's where I can see it.
The media speculation surrounding that hostage situation in Detroit has just blown through the roof.
Access granted. Access granted. Access granted. attempting to access the Second Avenue Lynn Clinic found their route blocked by supporters of the Humanity.
Don't get involved in this asshole. Get out of here. Go ahead and run. <laughs> Zero cats is gonna get popped if they keep trying to tag over my shit. Oh yeah? How so? Got me a Hurricane TMP-18 from Surat. That's sick shit, man. I didn't know Surat carried notes. Double T cut him a break on it.
me, man. Whatever I did, I'm sorry. Jensen? What are you doing here? I think you know why I'm here, Tyndall. I want Corella's security footage back. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm Seraph Industries' chief of security. I'm pretty sure I can find out about an edited security tape, so don't bullshit me. Ah, shit. Listen, Jensen, I never wanted things to get this bad. I'm not a bad guy. I feel for Corella, I really do. But sometimes, for a good cause, you have to get your hands dirty. Oh, there's a good cause now? Oh, I see. You think I'm selling the stuff, right? I understand why this would seem like an obvious motive, especially to an ex-cop. But trust me, you shouldn't always take things at face value. I'm not selling the neuropazine, I'm giving it away. Giving it away? To who? To the people who need it. You think everyone gets augmented by choice? No. Shit happens. And then what? You're saddled with neuropazine injections for the rest of your life. And that shit costs money. But what choice do you have? Without the drug, you'll die. Rejection syndrome, crippling pain. That just ain't right. So I did the only decent thing to do. I stepped up. Respect that. But blackmail is still blackmail. Corella wants out, and I'm here to make sure he gets out. Man, this whole thing is becoming way too much trouble. I've even got two local pushers on my back because they say my philanthropic actions are undercutting their profit. That's not your only problem. A gun toting client was waiting for you in your apartment earlier. Really? In my apartment? Shit. The dealers probably sent him. Tell you what, I'll deal with the client later. You take care of the dealers, and the footage is yours. Okay, I'll help you out. But you better not be playing me. You give me way too much credit, Jensen. I'm a security tech, not a hardened mobster. The two pushers go by the name PG and BK. They hang out in the alley near the basketball court. Just make sure they never bother me again. Look, I told you. If you want me to give you that security footage, you're going to have to get those pushers off my ass first. We're done for now.
Look at you, man. Another sucker who bought a bunch of crap you never really needed. That Kassanchik is right on. You see a report on people voluntarily amputating themselves and getting augmented? What a bunch of freaks! You gonna be obsolete someday, my brother. Cutters. They just encourage others to augment themselves for no good reason. You gonna be obsolete someday, my brother. I heard that. Stop messing. Me, man, whatever I did, I'm sorry. Look, I told you if you want me to give you that security footage, you're going to have to get those pushers off my ass first. I've taken care of the dealers now, hand over the footage. Thanks, Jensen. Listen, I know it's not something you did from the bottom of your heart, but still, you saved my ass. Here's your footage. Listen, Tyndall, I know you're trying to do the right thing. But we have to do things by the book, or we'll just have chaos. I'll put you in contact with someone inside Seraph Industries. They may be able to get you neuropathy for those who need it. Seriously? You'd really do that? Wow. I never would have expected this from you, Jensen. I really appreciate this. Tell Corell I'm sorry. Did you get it yet? Adam, please. You have to get that security footage back. I got the footage. You owe me one, Tim. Yeah, you got that right, Jensen. I mean, thank you so much. This is my life I just got back. Listen, I got a hold of a weapon mod. It's not much, but I figured a guy in your line of work could use it. Listen, I know you were trying to do a good thing, and I respect that. But you should do it through proper channels. Next time you might not get this lucky. Yeah, you're right, Adam. I know you're right. Listen, thanks again.
never let T-Boss be booking me with no cards. 